Well, it's Saturday morning and it's time for sports. And it's kind of got me thinking about what's the parental etiquette for standing on the sidelines. It's so um, uh, easy to get ourselves engrossed in our kids' sport and, and cheer them on and to encourage them and to berate them when they don't do so well. And uh, we've got to understand it's a game. There are a few simple rules that we can follow and we can all have a great time. So, first up, don't push your child too hard. They're there for the fun, they're there to be with their friends, they're there to enjoy the competition. Don't make too big a deal of it. Screaming like a madman. No. The thing is, you've got to root for your team. You can shout your kid's name when they've got the ball or whatever, and that's fantastic, but not at the detriment of the rest of the team. It's kind of a little bit obsessive. The next thing is you can cause confusion, particularly if you're shouting instructions to your child. You can cause them to get distracted. Face it, your child should be tuned in to hearing your voice. In the game situation, they should really be listening to the coach. There are two people that you should not be arguing with at the game. The first one is the coach. There is a perfectly legitimate reason why your child has started the game on the bench or ends up being pulled off part way through the game. They know their job, everybody's there to have fun, everybody's there to have an equal and fair opportunity. The other person you're not supposed to be arguing with is the ref because let's face it, there are good refs and there are bad refs, there are good calls, there are bad calls, but if you start arguing, you're going to look obsessive and you're going to look like a bit of a freak. It's it, the, the majority of those refs and those coaches are volunteers. They give up their Saturday morning, they give up some time in the week so that your child can have an, in, an enriching, lovely, competitive experience. Win or lose, Praise up your child because there is nothing worse for that child to be coming off that pitch feeling like they've let you down, but they're there just for the fun of it. So let's not forget. I'll catch you tomorrow.